Hello, morning. So we are on Monday morning, 11th of July, 2022. I have had a decent weekend of eBay sales. That's why we're here, because I'm an eBay reseller. Oh, and I'm Lady in the Frogs because there are frogs, but I've managed to position them completely wrong. Uh, right, so it's already 10 o'clock and I need to get this stuff in the post. I've got two of my brother's records, which I've already packed up, and then this, which is a personal sale, because this is something that my husband had kicking around and he said put it on, and then it sat in a box for ages and I didn't. And this is actually going to America, so they've paid 6 99 because I just thought, oh God, I'll just price it right, I want it gone. Um, and they've paid £23 to have that delivered to America. But it's very wide for a magazine so I think I'm going to have to put it unfortunately in one of in my record mailers because it is huge so yeah at least there's something that's gone because I was part of me was just gonna like recycle it so I'm a bit annoyed because I've now got to walk to UPS so I'm thinking I might go up to the one up there and then I might just go to the charity shop. But there was part of me that just wanted to come back here and just list some things. Um, and I wanted to try and get some stuff on Vestiaire because if you list three things at the moment on Vestiaire, you might, if you sell one of them, you get a £50 credit to spend. Um, but I don't, I'm a bit reluctant with Vestiaire because they... they they, you have to send your clothes off, you have to send stuff off to them and then they check whether it's real and I just feel like they're going to just say, no, you're, you're a fake ass bitch <laughs> and uh, I'm going to feel awful. So this thing, I've had this on for ages and I've had it on too much. So these are these booers. Um, I mean, these have seen better days, so I probably should have priced them a bit better. So it has like a little ball and then it's got these jack balls with it. This is for somebody's birthday. So, you know, I thought, you know, us Cancerians were less loopy, you know, than the Geminis like Boris Johnson, but apparently not. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd be like happy to receive this for my birthday when it's, I mean, it, it is antique, hence why it looks like that. But yeah, I would have thought that there was like better versions of this around in the world. Maybe this isn't vintage, this has got a website on there. Confirmate, I don't speak French though, do I? So yeah, so it isn't vintage at all. It just looks vintage. Yeah, and you see the clasp is broken as well on it. So I've accepted £30 for this, but because of the heavy weight of this, because these are like ridiculous, these are so heavy, I've now got to go to UPS. So there's either one that way or one that way. So I'm going that way. I may as well go that way, and then I may as well end up in Bernardo's um, near the cricket ground. So... I've got some coupons there. These are just the things you get on the cereals. Um, but they're all packed up, so you can't see them. So just go and look at any Kellogg's cereal. <laughs> oh, what else is going on here? I have a lot of clothes. Clothes, clothes, clothes. And then I have this. I didn't do a post run on Saturday, and I kind of wished I had... But I just couldn't bring myself to it because it's that time of the month and we're on the 10 day mark now and I'm just exhausted and anemic so I really didn't feel like going out on Saturday where it wasn't necessary. So this is sold for £25. Um, it, is, it is like second hand but when I opened it everything inside was completely sealed so... I've been asking 35 for that, but that was too steep. So 35, no 25, I accepted for that atmosphere game. 
obviously the modern version it's got the dvd in it and then there's these guys so this is this is sold to a subscriber so hello sharon <laughs> um much to simon's disgust because he wanted these guys to stay didn't you so when he saw these guys go in the washing machine he thought that they were staying and he wants, he, you know, he wants all stuffers to stay. But, yeah, they're going to their new home with Sharon. Okay, you're going to their new home with Sharon. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I wish he'd stayed, but, yeah. Farewell and good luck. I, I, I was sent on eBay too, so it's not so bad, you know. Okay, good luck. Um... I went in a bubble mailer, so maybe you'll get lucky with a box. Yeah, so £20 for these guys. These I've, I picked these up from the Jumble Trail. So a lot of the stuff which I picked from the Jumble Trail up has sold really quickly. I probably could have got more for these, but I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite flexible at the minute for a quick sale. Right, go and sit down and take Pinky with you. Pinky's 43 now, you know. She doesn't need this at all. Right, and the rest of it's clothes. So another item from the Jumble Trail. Uh, these were a pound. Diesel jeans, this yabo, whatever it is. These are, these are female cotton, although they're like made in Italy and they've got like nice elements to them and they've got a really nice flare apparently they don't sell for that much so i accepted 15 pound on them i think i was trying for 17.99 you would hope that i could get like 20 25 wouldn't you but no apparently that is too steep for those particular pairs of jeans so what else have i got here more jeans these are some cropped jeans from Manta Ray. Yeah, it's got the labeling. I've only got the care label and there's nothing at the back for some reason, but it does say Manta Ray on there. Cropped length. They've gone for £15 as well. I don't expect like extraordinary prices from a lot of this stuff anyway. So I'm only picking these up for like two or £3 anyway, so it doesn't matter these i did think that i would sell these while love island was on so these are a lace side pvc from i saw it first obviously they're new somebody sent me an offer of 13.50 so i took that that's completely fine by me because obviously all this fast fashion doesn't sell for much when it's new when it's on the website anyway with their free returns and all the rest of it so you have to be competitive um but i, I just had this feeling like i could flip that a decent amount and then these which makes me feel like i should extend my walk even further than the bernardos and go up to next and go and look at their sale because i think they're on their summer sale and i haven't done their summer sale thing for a while and there's also part of me wants to go and have a little squiz at the I'm a Celebrity game show sort of like event thing that they have up at Salford Keys because they were looking for employees. And there was part of me was just thinking, well, you know, if I get myself a job, that's kind of a cool job, even if it's just taking admission tickets. <laughs> but obviously, I don't know. I'd, I haven't looked at the damn place since it's open, so I don't know. I feel like I should go and have a look before I apply for a job. Um, so anyway, these are next waste enhancer. These have gone for twenty five pounds. They sent me an offer of fifteen of of twenty, and I went to accept it, and then they paid full price anyway. So I don't know what that was about. Um, what are these? They think these are a decent size. Yeah, size eighteen. So yeah, these are quite desirable for some reason. There must be like a really good nip and tuck thing, you know, the sort of thing which I probably need to get because, you know, 
I feel that I really need to get exercising properly because this month has been hard and I'm sure it's just because I'm not as fit as I should be and I'm eating badly so and I'm 12 stone which is the heaviest I've ever been and a lot of the stuff a lot of the clothes which I got because it grown out of my previous clothes now don't really fit me very well at all so it's irritating me that I've not fitting well into size 14 and stuff so I need to start thinking about what I'm doing to my body because you know yeah I've got fibroids but the message that is sending me some months when I'm on when it's that time is suggesting that I am not looking after myself at all <laughs> so there we go right another decent sale um I don't, yeah I think this was a full price sale I put this yeah I put this on for um 27.99 and that's what it's sold for um they are quite expensive on their website their website they they do seem to tend to charge like about you know 60 to 80 pounds for a dress it's emily and finn and i did see some emily and finn at the, at the jumble trail and i didn't pick it up because the person was asking stupid prices for things and i just thought well, i don't actually i haven't tested the water yet with this brand because i hadn't listed it i've only listed this on friday and it sold pretty much on friday so i probably undercut myself but i think i think that it's it's a reasonable price i paid three pound for this 27 is fine it's gone isn't it don't want no oh no i'm not here to like hold on to things for ages i'm not here to babysit dresses <laughs> so yeah happy with that sale this thing was on auction and then i i've got way too much stuff which is going to auction i was really like battering my allowance so i put a load of stuff back on buy it now so this sold for 15 pounds um even though they could have put it like for 4.99 on um the auction that ran four times <laughs> it's hush it is it's only it's only 2021 season but it's just had no interest at all nice frilly sleeves um so yeah that's gone this is an auction fail this is an everything fail really because it had holes in it i think although i can't see them now i swear i repaired them so this is a fat face thing now usually with my little tops with fat face i can do really well but this t-shirt has just sat around for ages this is fully embroidered all of this and is volkswagen old bosses and really nice but it just has not sold so that's gone for 99p on auction it's been in my life for two years you see that's it i just don't when something's been around for ages it just starts to feel painful just seeing it this has gone on auction for 9.99 i was hoping that this would sell a bit faster because for an adidas top it's quite cool it's got um you know animal print on the back and the logo on the front a proper racer back you think it would be really desirable but that's been hanging around for ages but 9.99 is you know it's a feasible price so it's gone and then this which sold yesterday and this quite a cool blouse you can't really see it um it's sort of like an oil slick pattern that's what it says that's what it says on the john lewis website because john lewis you know they seem to have very massive st st servers with storage for everything um it's got the imprint of this listing so this is all saints and yeah all saints so extra small but oversized baggy shirt i've sold this for 45 pounds so yeah don't underestimate all saints some of it is absolute garbage so i've got uh, i've got other all saints stuff which is going round around on auction I'm not getting bids at 4.99 but then other stuff like this will sell for a premium i think the best all saints thing i had was a jumper it, yeah, admittedly it was 
100% cashmere with like a cow neck but I sold that for like 70 pounds um, but some of it is just absolutely cracking and that's one of them I've held out on the price for that I entered it I had eight watches it's only been listed for two weeks but I just held out I didn't send offers on it um, no saying that I did relent yesterday I think no, on Saturday and I sent offers out but then somebody paid full price for it so yeah that's my sales it's actually not that many it just felt like that many when I was getting them out so I'm gonna pack all this up get annoyed at my bank account because yeah it's um my bank account wasn't looking that good I need to pay my credit card bill but um I've had to pay the gas and the electric payment you know and we all know about gas and electric payments don't we now you know it's like it like, like seems like so surreal because you know, I'm just sort of like thinking back to when that would have been like 50 or 60 pounds and it didn't matter and now it's just like Mine's 200. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's going to be even worse. I mean, you know, it's going to be a lot of suicides this winter, isn't there? So let's hold out. I was watching this thing about the 1976 um, drought and um, there, were, there was like a heat wave in 1976. Obviously, I wasn't alive. I'm 1979, but my husband, he he's 1970 so he was like six years old and he remembers it because he's telling me about all the ladybird swarms that they had and how wonderful the summer was and they had host pipe bands and all this other stuff but they also had price rises and inflation and everybody was like moaning and it was a labor government so they were getting the blame and then i was just thinking well things obviously got better then so surely things have got to get better now this is surely just a moment in time and, you know, most of us would probably love to go back to the prices and go for 1976. But, you know, apparently the average wages then you would like only getting like 60 to 70 pounds a week in your wages anyway. So, you know, hopefully this will all blow over and it will all be a bad memory. Right. Let's um, pack this up and then go and get sweaty in the heat. I mean, I can't believe I've now got to carry weights up the road. Of all the days. Literally, <laughs> Nate, now for me to be walking to the post office, but faffing and phone call from mum and other things. That's everything. So the thing in the bag is the UPS. And then that's the rest of it. And I've just sold these. 10.99 I think I don't know somebody sent me an offer for that ages ago and I should have accepted so I've accepted now because obviously it's shorts weather so I'm just going to pack this one up and then I'm going to go and drop all this off I don't really like doing it at midday because well one I've got the heat now the weirdos will have crawled out and um it's lunch breaks on post offices is a pain in the ass getting your parcels done Hello, we're on Tuesday now, Tuesday morning, but it's getting on. Oh. Um, yes, I'm sweating because I've just done the hoovering because, you know, it just gets disgusting, doesn't it? And you have to do the hoovering and, oh, it's very warm, not enough sleep. Um, this is actually the first day that we've actually got our fan down. Um, Obviously we're quite lucky because obviously we get a decent breeze up here because we're a top floor apartment. So you get a nice through breeze. So that's the first time that we've had to get the fan out. But I always find that when I've got the fan in the bedroom, not that it was on all night, I always end up with backache. So that's not fun. So <laughs> I didn't end up doing as much walking yesterday as I thought, because I thought I was going to have to walk back, but it was massively successful. This is the success of what I've got from the charity shop um, to the extent that I rang my husband because obviously it was quite late when I got to the flipping UPS drop-off point after I'd done the Royal Mail and I walked up to the UPS drop-off point the UPS drop-off point was closed so I was sort of like in panic mode 
<laughs> and I was stood there and I was like, right, well, I'll have to find the other UPS drop off point, put on my Google Maps and my Google Maps was still filled with all of the drop off points, all of the stuff from my jumble trail that I'd went to and I couldn't get it off my map. <laughs> So I had to work out what that, and by the time I was like faffing around with that, the woman turned up, um, it was half past one, so it was like dinner time, so she just popped out, but she hadn't put her back in five minutes up. So I was able to drop that off, then went to the charity shop and got so much stuff that I rang my husband and said, what time are you finishing? And uh, he came back an hour later and he was actually on that road because I didn't know where he was working. He never knows where he's working from day to day. So he actually was coming down that road. So that was great. <laughs> so he picked me up with all my loot. So really pleased. Also got loads of work to do. And I've also realised that it's the annual general meeting for the building today, which is in town at one of the worst hotels in Manchester. Um, so I like really feel like I need to go to that because I've lived here since 2016 was when we bought the place and we've never had an AGM. So obviously I'm mistaken as to what AGM means because I thought AGM meant annual general meeting as in annual meant that it was yearly, but I've never ever been to one. Typically the letter is like blaming COVID. So I don't know what happened in the first four years that I was living here, but apparently it's COVID's fault and somebody's broken their leg or something and they're in a wheelchair, I don't know. But anyway, and you really need to go to that. So I'm not going to have as much time to do work today as I wanted and I didn't really get much done yesterday. So I'm going to the post office anyway. It's things that I've sold. This is all cheap stuff but it all adds up because I ended up with a, quite a nice little payout to this morning of like 70 pounds. You know, obviously it's got the postage on top of it. So this has gone, I think that this was one of these auction things that's been going round and round, which I thought would sell really well. Cause it's like, cause you can see there that it says Adidas in like a geometric sketch out. Um, you know, Racerback, it hasn't sold it's women's wear, isn't it? So it's always a bit of a pain in the ass. Eight pound for that, which, you know, let's face it, for a little tea, little vest is good. This went on auction, straight out of Wakanda. So yeah, that's gone on auction for one pound 20. That wasn't cast off of my husband's, so. <laughs> this is another t-shirt. This has been round and round on auction. It was starting at 9.99, it hasn't had any bids. Um, you see, this this is what I was saying. So yesterday I had an All Saints thing that sold for 45 and this has been going round and round with no bids at all. I do believe it's actually raining. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, so this hasn't sold, even though it's, you know, just a nice basic T-shirt. Somebody sent me an offer of £8, which I accepted. Happy to do that, happy to get rid. I'm sure I had more here than I thought, yes. Um, this off the shoulder Bardo top, this is a high speed brand, it's only Oasis, but I just thought it was really nice. I was going a bit stir crazy looking for that and then I realised I've put it in I've put it in shirts and blouses because it had buttons on the front. Although the buttons don't do anything. Um, yeah, so just a little top. It is new with tags, hence why I thought it was worth picking up. And I thought that the print was really good. I put Victorian to describe it because it was just a bit like, huh, what is it? And typically they have no like description on the label there. So it was originally £32 at Oasis. You know, I thought Oasis was supposed to be cheap. Apparently not. Um, how much did I get for that? 14 I have sold a jumper. So this is this rock and ruby thing that I got with 1997 on it. These don't sell for much. Somebody offered me £10. So I took that because, you know, who's selling jumpers at this time of year? And 
it was a mistake pickup really it hasn't even got the care label in it so I, you know i just kind of wanted it gone i'm a bit overrun with jumpers as you would be because nobody's really buying jumpers at this time of year and then I, this that i picked up so this has only been listed a couple of days but i'm a bit i'm always a bit dubious about picking up women's wear levi's i've accepted 12.99 for this um i sent offers out actually because i don't think it'll go for that much more i've had i've got some really nice levi stuff but generally if it's women's wear it just sticks around i've got two bits of levi's women's wear which are not selling you know spell out t-shirt and um another one which is a zip up hoodie it's just not going anywhere so i don't want to end up stuck with this but it didn't fit it felt like something that i couldn't leave behind um not very obvious what it is by the label but obviously if you know you know <laughs> um it is a nice little strappy dress it's like got adjustment at the back with buttons and a side zip you know and pockets so i did think god somebody's got to want that so that's going to its new home and that's it i'm going to go and do the post and apparently it's raining only like you know nice rain <laughs> we were talking about this the other day because when we went to, we went to barcelona we went to see um a rock um festival there and it went all cloudy like this at the rock festival and everybody just suddenly like left the main stage area and we were standing there thinking my god we can like We've got like a full view of the stage. <laughs> and then I said to Jason, I says, you know, is that rhyme about the rain falling in Spain? Does it actually mean something? Is there, is it actually like going to be like stair rods and it's going to be painful or something? It's going to be horrendous. <laughs> because everybody literally like, there are people like standing under trees, like ready for it. And then, so we sort of like stood there and we were like, oh, well, maybe we'll back up a bit and then if it is bad, we'll duck under something. And then the rain came and it was literally nothing. But everybody was like terrified of this rain underneath all these awnings. <laughs> and we just didn't get it because it's, the, I mean, it's the sort of rain like what we just had there, which was nothing. It's just a little shower and now it's stopped and it's not even enough to water my plants. It's done nothing. Um, and I'll go out without an umbrella sometimes when it's absolutely caning it down. But it was really funny to see these Spanish people just like going, hi, quick. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's another story. Right. So I'm not going to take an umbrella out or do anything or protect my hair. I'm just going to go out and um, do the post, see what they've got at Tesco. OK, I believe it or not, it is now Wednesday. So... I did go to the meeting yesterday, the, um, I can't even call it like a residence meeting because if it was a residence meeting, there would have been loads of people there, but it's like, it was, it was an owner's meeting and really bad poor <laughs> but turnout. It's quite sad, really. It turns out that they haven't actually had this AGM for 10 years <laughs> there was one guy who's bought the place like 15 years ago so these that's 15 years ago is when this was these apartments were built and it's the whole block so it's like 140 properties and there were seven of us seven including me and one of them was a couple so literally like six properties rep <laughs> represented but one of the one of the like main guys the director guy he owns loads of them in the building. But anyway, I only went because I just wanted to know how my money was being spent. And I do feel a bit better about things now. But two people in there just wanted to go for an argument. So it it was an hour and a half we were in there in this room with no windows. It was at Sasha's Hotel, you see, and they're renowned for having many rooms without windows. <laughs> but even Sasha's Hotel looks a bit better than it did. However, I now have posts to do because now it's Wednesday. So now you've had like three lots of posts. So I'm going to leave that one for last because I want to talk about that a little bit. It's another one of these packaging law things. Um, so I've got Dick Tracy. This has been kicking around for ages. It was a 50p book. I've sold it for 3 99 Get gone. This is another thing that was sort of like get gone. 
It's been on auction for ages. I started bids at 9 99 It just hasn't gone anywhere. It's a tunic dress. You'd think that it would be great, but nobody's been interested. It's white stuff. It, it's so hit and miss with white stuff. So I just thought, well, I'm sick of looking at that. Somebody offered me a fiver, so I took that. It's probably a little bit of a loss. No, it's not a loss. It's just a break even after it all, fees and the rest of it. And then this Hobbs, what did I get for this? I think possibly 10 99 Not extra, not great sales here. So this is sort of like side tie. This has been kicking around for ages. It's been on auction, hasn't really gone anywhere. Hobbs. It's an XL as well. See, I don't necessarily think that XL means that you're gonna sell it faster. And then I've sold this. So I sent an offer out of 12 99 Of course, you never know who you're sending those offers to. And then it came through and then it had a lot of postage cost on it as I was walking back from this meeting yesterday at about like half seven. And I was like, oh no, that's sold to Germany, hasn't it? <laughs> and it turned out I hadn't sold to Germany. It sold to France. So yeah. So there, the, this whole packaging law is because of an EU directive. So, you know, fundamentally we shouldn't be bothered with it because it's an EU directive, but um, all of the countries have sort of responded in different ways. And I've been sort of thinking that France was one of the evil ones. And I've been upping their postage pr prices on my new listings for France because I thought I was gonna have to buy an 80 euro packaging license well no the packaging license is free because that's what i've got for the germany one and then you pay for the disposal of the packaging so say i send it in this that's brand new packaging so that is something that's new being put onto the you know what do they call it something new being put onto the market and therefore it needs to be recycled properly so with the german one you have your free license code and then you have to pay to one of the companies who will dispose of all your packaging waste even if you've done re if you've had reusable stuff they will um you have to pay but that i found somebody who's like seven euros so that's not so bad so when i actually make a sale to germany i'm going to buy this packaging disposal license it's like a waste carrier license is what we would call it here i suppose so if it was germany i would have to pay that so then you have to pay individually to all of the countries in the eu who are on it so i was like oh my god i know how much the french one is the french one is they say to be kind to um small businesses it's a one-off charge of 80 euros now 80 euros it most you know it is pretty much 80 quid so <laughs> i was just like oh, no. i've sold a 12.99 t-shirt it's a comic relief one as well so i'm paying i've got a 10 percent donation to comic relief on this listing so <laughs> i've got that as well that's going out i've got my fees and the rest of it and i think i don't want to buy an 80 euro thing to send this off. So I did some like research last night, you know, just what I wanted when I've been like out. <laughs> so I was like researching it and researching it. And I have discovered that as far as the French laws are concerned, if you are producing new items and you are using new packaging, then that is when you have to buy this license. So from what I can see, because this is a used second-hand item that is why it was on ebay.fr so ebay france ebay will not put if you're selling new items they won't be putting your stuff in front of french buyers if you don't have um this it's something like an erf or something like that, e epr something number some number that you have to have registered on your account if you're selling new items to france otherwise they won't put it in front of them so i think ebay have covered me with in that anything new that i've got will not be advertised in france and 
provided I put this in used packaging. And I have got some, you know, you pre, you know, poly bags which are gonna which I can reuse. However, I'm a bit like, oh. So I am gonna put this t-shirt in a very, very obvious packaging that's been reused. So I'm going to just sandwich it in between some cardboard. So it's very obvious that it's reused card, reused packaging. And that's what I'm gonna do. So hopefully that'll have helped somebody. There's, there's potentially laws for all other ones. I mean, I don't, I don't know about Spain and I don't know about Italy. Um, I have, I have had a really helpful message that Andrea, uh, Andrea Hills had sent me through when everybody was like massively kicking off about um, the German packaging laws because she obviously sells on Etsy and somebody there had put something on the forum that was quite useful. So she'd actually sent me something that's detailed everything. But having looked into this, I think I'm okay with this t-shirt. <laughs> the information that I got, a lot of these sites that you go on, because obviously it's not an English site and you're like getting a translated site. A lot of the sites that I were getting, I was finding the information on, just wanted my money so that they could provide me a service. And this is the problem. You know, they, they, they want your money. They want to provide you a service. So it was a bit like, uh, and then I found the information sort of pieced together with something that was on an, on a Depop announcement and something that was on an eBay business forum. So they're sort of more impartial. So that's where I've got the information that I've got. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. <sighs> and then I'm going to do this post and then I'm going to get back here because as you can see it's gone 10 and that's ludicrous um, and then I'm going to get on with some listing because I only did a little bit yesterday because obviously I thought alright I'm going out and, and I shot out to the to this uh, flipping meeting at 5 o'clock so I only like listed up until about half 3 and then I was just like god what am I doing gotta go gotta go my husband didn't want to go because he was he came back and he was covered in like bits <laughs> from stripping a building out right so let's crack on go 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 that's the english lot actually one of these is actually recycled poly bag because it's the one that they send them all then so it was all cut so this is what the french one looks at looks like so Obviously use the, what you call it, tape, the plastic free tape and got all the details on the back. I think that's fine. I mean, it is only a t-shirt. I mean, it is quite cumbersome. It doesn't exactly, you know, they, you can send things larger to airmail and I don't think that now fits because to fit it in the packaging, I had to sort of fold it in a different way. You know, I should have used this bit as well because it says 100% recyclable. So the French can have, could have had that, but no, it just says Walker's crisps all over it. Um, I did consider turning it the other way around and then I just thought, oh, I, it, you know, it's more obvious this way that it's recycled packaging. I don't want any comeback because I don't even know what the what the fine is on that is it just the same or is it like is it just five thousand pounds five thousand euros across the board for everybody whatever the country is they just have a convoluted thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully one day they'll they'll sort this out and it'll just be a measure that that is for all countries not just like individual countries because this is becoming a faff uh, yeah I'll tell you something I actually miss sending to Russia because they always used to they always used to pay full price for everything they never used to argue they used to just pay full price for things and yesterday one of the things that I did pick up was I found a load of Starbucks mugs and uh, you should see the prices for like St Petersburg and some of the Russian cities that they've got but whoa I know there's one that says just Russia on it and then there's St Petersburg so the prices for them in this, in the US actually so it's almost like maybe the US are still sending to Russia because it's in recent months 
they're like 300 to 500 pounds for one mug <laughs> so hmm, bit weird anyway right let's go to the post office and then we'll crack on with listing that dress that you see hanging up there that had a stain on it that was like paint and i've actually managed to sponge it out i have no idea <laughs> i sprayed it and i think it ah oh, because often when i spot when i sponge clean something and i spray it it leaves like a you know a sort of like blot where the spray's been but it's you know it is black so it seems to have worked it's new with tags hence why i spot cleaned it so that's going on today because that's a potentially a hundred pound dress even though it's karen millen by fucking boohoo <laughs> so i have stuff i need to get listed today because yesterday i did not list my quota literally just walked in um post run i can't believe i mean there's some, one thing i didn't raise yesterday at the meeting was the amount of pets that we have in this pet free building um i'm pretty sure that there's at least two dogs in my building of 10 apartments if not three and there's two cats cats i don't so much mind because of the mice <laughs> But I've just walked in and somebody, you know, you would expect them to have like a small dog if you're in an apartment. And this person has just come in with a fucking greyhound on a lead coming into the building. And I didn't open the door, so they knew the code and they came in. <laughs> fucking greyhound. It's, that is just... I mean, it's cruel. Why would you have a dog like that when you don't have a garden? I mean, it's just, I just can't fathom it. You know, people have indoor cats, but when you've got a dog and you're in an apartment, that's just cruel, is it not? Anyway, stuff I've got. I've got a bit of chicken here, which I'm just gonna divide up and put in the freezer. 342, not a very good reduction, and neither was this, but this is to go in the freezer, because it's always nice to have something where you have a curry. So 122 for them. And they cook from frozen. I've got two of them. Kuching. Um, yeah. It's always good to have stuff that cooks from frozen. And then just some salad because I really impinged it. Cut that. Oh my my washing has just blown over as I looked out at my balcony. Um yeah, I've used up most of the lettuce yesterday. The upshot is is rocket was okay briefly but it's now all gone to seed it's like got a very pretty white flower but it's all gone to seed so that's pretty useless um and the radishes are not happy in the small container at all even though they were kind of spaced um they're not happy and the one that i pulled out was small and nutty and disgusting so that doesn't work my husband says it's just no point in me trying the onions but I don't know, they're only spring onions and they're looking okay at the moment. So we'll see. The salad's been fine. So that keeps refreshing, but it's getting to a point now where I'm gonna have to keep an eye out on it because it might, it, it's now caterpillar time. So I don't wanna like serve myself up some caterpillars. And yeah, the tomato is always getting on. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because it's now a long vlog because it's obviously like three days. So I am gonna have a full day of listing I have a whole box of uh, jeans and trout and chinos to do that. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to stock take all of the stuff which I've got. All of my all of my women's jeans and men's jeans, they're in three boxes at the moment. So I need to end and relist them. Check there's no issues with them. It's also got the shorts in it. So put all of the mixed brands into two boxes and then I've got one that's why all of that is all one brand so I need to just put all of this one brand in one box so that I'm not searching like crazy and not getting confused I have a lot of work to do with this because they are factory returns no not factory returns they're factory seconds and a lot of them have marks on them so they obviously they just get rid of them they don't sell them so I've got to wash the marks out of them. Some, one of them's got a fucking 
broken button on it and it's not a button it's a popper so I can't just put a button on it so I've got to see if I can repair that but I think that one might be a complete mistake some of them have got rips in the fabric so it's repairs as well and some of them have got like flaws which I can sort of like push the thread through or just declare it so it's it's not it's not a simple listing it's a lot of faffing around but it, I, I, you know I feel that it's in my interest so anyway I will say goodbye before this becomes like a 40 minute but it will be a 40 minute vlog now um so my computer will now complain about putting it all together so I will say thank you for watching and I will see you again soon and I will do a haul of this and um yes au revoir <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the French one went okay. <laughs> I was able to face that. So I'll let you know if there's any comments. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.